Hey folks, welcome to my urban fishing adventure. A while back I'd purchased an old rod, an old tackle box, and an old Berkeley 808 at a garage sale. Today the goal is to bring it all back to life. I bought this old reel and this old tackle box at a garage sale for just six dollars. First thing I'm going to do is clean up this tackle box, then I'm going to oil up this reel, then if you want to see me catch a fish on this old Berkeley 808, just click that subscribe button. Small. That's three I miss now. I'm bringing the old Berkeley 808 back to life and the old rod from the garage sale, but I just can't seem to land one. The rod's so stiff. Put on a bigger hook and I loosened up the drag just a tad. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Been determined that the rod's a pile. So we took the 808 reel off it and we put it on a decent rod because why keep losing fish after fish? If anybody want, wants the rod and wants to try it themselves, leave a comment below, it's yours. There's some fish this way. Oh, shit. Throw me a sandwich! Got one! Fish on! Come and get it for me! That was amazing. Brought the Berkeley 808 back to life after how many years it sat on a shelf rusting probably thought it would never catch another fish and then bingo it nails a fish not only nails a fish nails a fish in front of a crowd of people brought back to life in style how's it feel buddy you're welcome that is a nice little male or sorry that's a nice little female as you can tell they have no no hump on their back so we're gonna keep her for the row to catch some coho in another couple weeks I feel like going back to Tim Hortons, getting another triple espresso and spending the day here. Mm. Mm. Man, we almost went back to back. We did. Berkeley 808, back to back, Cass. Come on, come on. Big fish here. Let's land them. Nice fish, dude. Nice fish. Nice fish in the current there. Tough drag systems on these Berkeley airways. You gotta really, really use the hand motions because they're sticky and the, the settings are very temperamental. This is a nice one. Just gotta keep the pressure on them. Not horse them. If you're gonna flip them, you gotta tire them. Give him a little drag. Once you feel like he's tired, come on, buddy. It's okay to be tired. It's okay to be tired. It's a struggle. Yeah. I, I never landed those fishes on that other pile of crap rod. Big one, that's why. 
That's about the limit for flipping with this drive. It's bigger than that. I thought that one actually might have broke it. But for the Berkeley 808, I was chancing it. That's a male. See the big hump in the back? And the hook in the jaw? Beautiful salmon that run up the St. Mary's River in September. That was a hard fighting fish. Mama! <laughs> now they're wondering if I'm all there. The first time they laughed, now they're wondering if I'm all there. Nope. sale find great investment carries everything I need for shore fishing one day I'm gonna be the mayor of this town running for mayor wasn't exactly a priority but getting back down to the river to catch more salmon was now, if you made it this far, stick around to the end where I catch my PB salmon. And do me a favor, click that subscribe button. salmon beautiful little fish great eating little fish you can jar them you could smoke them you could fry them barbecue is my favorite way It's a big Chinook. That's a real one. Been years since I caught a Chinook. I'd love to land this fish. No, I know. I want him out of that car. Grab the yellow part quick. Yeah, yeah, we're in stage. We should have that screwed in there. <laughs> <laughs> what a fish, man. St. Mary's uh, Chinook salmon migrating up here from here on. Wow, what a fish.